welcome to SEO Hangouts with Josh Bashinsky. Today I'm going to be going through this new show put out by Google called SEO Myth Busting 101. <laughs> SEO Myth Busting 101 is a, is a show that uh, Google's putting out to try and bust the myths of SEO. And uh, so I want to go through it. It's only a 10 minute video, uh, so it doesn't take long. Uh, let's go through it together. And let me give you my special take on what Google's doing here, what Google's saying. Because uh, I think you'll find it very entertaining. So let's start playing their video. If you hear about SEO, what comes to your let's mind? Let's go through this together. Oh, well, uh, keywords, getting the content right sometimes, a good H1 title. It's so hilarious. Look how, look how much he's laughing. That's probably... Ha <laughs> ha, businesses go under and die. Ha 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 ha. Because they can't get SEO right because Google makes it hard and hides the algorithms. First thing that comes Both to my mind. Things. But also a lot of... Um, myths and things I don't know about. It's, it's a little um, disingenuous for Google to blame uh, the SEO myths that they help create and help perpetuate in the industry so that we have no idea what we're doing and blame it on us <laughs> for the ones making up the myths. Hey, Google, if you want us to go to your, uh, your nice, nice shot of him uh, adjusting the light, by the way, w way to go, DP. That was a pretty good, pretty good job there. If you, if you don't want, hey, I know what, Google, if you don't want us to be making the, the SEO miss, then how about you invite us to your meetings? <laughs> you know, I, I happen to miss that, that email in my email box. Why don't you tell us what's going on then if you don't want us uh, to come up with SEO myths? Why, uh, why all the SEO misinformation if you don't want all the SEO myths? People say a lot of things out there about how to mm. make your website stand in the top result. Uh, but I don't really know how to achieve that, you know? Right, fair enough. That's a, that's a really good question, how to achieve that. And uh, <laughs> I think that's a perfect introduction into what we are trying to do here. We're trying to like bust these myths. Um, what can I help you with? What are the questions that come to your mind? Okay, so let's just start with something simple. Uh, what is a search engine? All right, so a search engine is, oh, Jesus. is a platform or service or program, whatever you want to call it. Okay, what? yes, yes. YouTube so we have some when he's heard of search, engine search engines, I also heard uh, this word called crawling. Is that a thing? That's a thing. Is crawling a thing? Is it a thing that I find in a German bar? With, with the crabs that I get from the woman I sleep with? Uh, I'm, I'm, I joke, I can't. So the way that we are doing this, or search engines do this, is by first going through the entire internet. And yes, yes, they read the pages and decide what they want to crawl or not, and they decide that's how they, in, in, in turn, decide how they're going to censor the entire internet. By the way, Google almost only shows you, at the last time Ahrefs checked, the only other search engine big enough that I think could do this job, other than Bing, per se. The last time they checked how much Google actually allows you to see of the internet is about 0.3% or was it 0.03%? It was an infinitesimally small number, like either 0.3% or 0.03%. That's how much Google uh, 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 allows you to see hides of the internet, or that's to say sensors of the internet is the vast, vast majority, 99.7% at least, if not 99.97% of the internet is what they censor away from people. But they're a search engine, they're not a censorship, censorship engine. And we have links from one page to the other. Yes, yes, one page blah, blah, blah. That we need to figure out the second stage, which is indexing. So then we figure out, so this page, yes, like, yes, I want this particular... Yes, right? <laughs> yes, you got it. Yes, you censor. So <laughs> it's very funny. We then basically look into our index and find the ones that are serving this purpose. And then we try to figure out which is the one that's... Serving. The purpose for the user is what you just said. Serves these purposes perfectly or best. Mm -hmm. And then we rank these higher than the others and show you the, exam the, the examples that we found from the index. Boy, if the purpose uh, for the user is the most important factor and they need to determine which ones do it perfectly, I guess the only way to tell that is by tracking the traffic and see how well they like the content. But Google doesn't track traffic. <laughs> You're stupid for thinking that, you SEO myth maker. So uh, how do you know which, one is, which um, results are more relevant to a given user? That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> That's a really good question. <laughs> we have over 200 signals to do so. Uh -huh. So we look at things like this. Still? That, that quote is like six years old now. It's still only over 200 factors to use so. I think it's actually quite less than that. The title, the meta description, the actual content that you've got on your page, images, links, all sorts of things. Oh. Right? It's, a, it's a very complicated question to answer what <laughs> ranks you best. 
Um, <laughs> that I'm not allowed to answer and I would be fired if I talked more about it. Uh, nervous laughter. <laughs> but yeah, we look at a bunch of signals. Now, if you could give me like, you know, like top three things that I should consider, what would that be? Right. So us being developers or... Why do they have books there? What, what, what is it? Where, why is there a tape recorder and pens and an ashtray? And why are they drinking what looks like, well, it probably supposed to be scotch. It looks like pee. Who peed in that, that the decanter earlier on? What is going on here? What is with the set direction? Originally, um, you probably want me to say, oh yeah, use this framework or use that framework. Yeah. That's not how it works. You have to have really good content. And mm -hmm. that means you have content, have to have content that serves a purpose for the user. It's okay. something that users need and or want. Optimally, they need it and want it, okay. like ice cream. I, <laughs> I, so if your, if your content says where you are, what you do, how you, how you help me with what I'm trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. that's fantastic. If you just have a page that says, like, we are a fantastic company and we have plenty of products, that's not serving yeah. a purpose. So Actually, that wasn't a half bad suggestion. <laughs> all, all, the, all the critiquing aside, I, I can't tell you how many e-commerce websites I've gone to that their index page basically says exactly what he just said. So that's not a half bad suggestion, actually. If you know the, if you do scientific SEO experiments and you know what the actual ranking factors are, you can actually pick some gold from this, this video, actually, if you know uh, what the ranking factors are ahead of time from uh, scientific experiments. So you want to make sure to serve the purpose of the people who you want to attract okay. and who you want to interact with your content. And you want to make sure that you're using words that I would be using. If you use... A Does that mean keywords are important? Very specific term for your ice cream. Um, let's say like smooth cream 5000 or something like that. Uh -huh. I'm not, I'm not going to search for that because I don't... Smooth cream 5000, get to the chopper. Know about it. I'm just going to go like, I need ice cream. It's good to mention it somewhere so that I know if I look for that trademark, I find it as well. Okay. But if, I, if I'm exploring ice cream around me, I don't know what particular ice cream there is. If there's like a specific brand, fantastic, but that's not what I'm looking for. So speak the language that I'm using. So, so you're, you're, you're saying more like a pitch? It like is an like an elevator, elevator pitch. pitch. It's like an right? elevator pitch. Okay. Exactly. You wouldn't, when, when we two meet and you... Sales factors matter for rankings? have a fantastic product or I have a fantastic product, I wouldn't go like, yeah, the Blurb Master 5000 uh, is fantastic. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that's insane. What does that do? Right. So do that. Do an elevator pitch and help us okay. put you in contact with the right people. So content is number one priority. Yes. Oh, could, you, could you mention another two things that are important yes. for the SEO? You're going to love them because they are technical. So the second biggest thing is make sure that you have meta tags uh, that describe your content, so have a meta description, okay. because that gives you the possibility to have a little snippet in the search results that let people find out which of the many results might be the ones that help them the best. <laughs> and, and, and we're just going to ignore it and put whatever we want there anyway. <laughs> and have page titles that are specific to the page that you are serving. So don't okay. have... <laughs> we're going to ignore that too if we want to. <laughs> have a title for every Everything. The same title is bad. Um, if you have titles that change with the content you're showing, that is fantastic. All and right. frameworks have ways of doing that. Oh, so, okay. so consult the documentation, but there's definitely something uh, something that helps with the content. And the last bit is performance. I hear it. Right? Yeah. Performance is fantastic. We are talking about it constantly, but we are probably missing out on the fact that this is also good for being discovered online. Our, so performance is not just making my website faster, but it's also making my website more visible to others. Correct. Okay. Because we want to make sure that the people clicking on your search result, clicking on your page, yeah. getting this content quickly. So that's one thing that we want to make sure. There, of course, is an obvious admission that I've been saying for a long time and others have as well. As well. So we're, it's one of the many signals that we are looking at. But also, um, it just helps your users, right? They get happier if I want ice cream really yeah. badly, then I get the page quicker, that's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so if you want to look at performance, I highly recommend looking into hybrid rendering or server-side rendering oh, if you okay. can, because that gets the content quicker to the users usually, right? Um, also, you... Hybrid rendering or service rendering? Just, just a note. You might have bots that don't run JavaScript, so Googlebot does that, but mm -hmm. not everyone else does it necessarily. So you want to make sure um, to probably figure out something like dynamic rendering if you don't want to make code changes, because I understand. Oh, 
we are all pressed for time. We have lots of bugs and and features to to fulfill uh, and work through. So if you can't change the code, dynamic rendering might be something that gets you there. Okay. If there's rendering issues uh, with your content. Um, But besides that, I would say definitely look into performance optimization, get the content quicker, get the first uh, content full paint in there quicker, optimize your servers, optimize your caching strategies. Uh, make sure that your script doesn't have to run for like 60 seconds to fetch everything that you need. I know. Yeah, so those are things that you should definitely look into. And I guess performance is something that pretty much everyone in the developer community is looking into. Certainly, right? yes. Yeah. Or they should do it, at least. They, they should. I hope that they do. You're absolutely right. They usually don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we already discussed like all these uh, basics around SEO and search engines and how to position my, my website mm-hmm. in the top search results. Now, mm-hmm. the question is, why is it so important for companies to rank like like in, in the top results. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> how do I answer the dummies question I've ever ever received? So you're you're a web developer, right? Yes. You're build stuff on the internet. Yeah. Do you want people to use it? Uh, certainly, yes. Certainly, right? <laughs> so in order to make sure that people can use it, they have to know ah! about it. Uh-huh. And um Unless you are probably one of the really big players, you might not. <laughs> if you want you know, people to use it, they're going to have to know about it. And even for the big players, if they launch something new, you might not know about it. And you're not looking specifically for products. You're looking for something that serves a purpose for you. Okay. I want to know how I built this thing with a framework. I want to know where to find the best ice cream in the place I am in. I want to find the cutest dogs and puppers online. So like. I have puppers? a purpose. Who I don't wants to find the cutest puppers. <laughs> know who I'm serves sorry. this purpose necessarily. Mm-hmm. So if you build the best ice cream PWA ever in, let's say, Medellin, is that how you That's pronounce right. that? Perfect. Yes. So if you build the best PWA to order ice cream online in Medellin, then I don't, I don't know about that, especially if I come as a tourist. But if I type that into a search engine, like order ice cream in Medellin, and then it goes like, hey, this, this PWA does this trick. Yeah. You want to be the, the first or the first couple of, because I'm not going to go to page 99 and go like, oh, yeah, this might be the perfect thing. Because Google and other search engines are trying to like figure out what is the best for this purpose mm-hmm. and then show me those uh, up front. And then the, the ads we can show on top of that so we can take our cut from the internet traffic. And then I might pick from those because normally they're pretty good. I think that covers up all the questions I have. Fantastic. Perfect. So you feel like ready to build stuff oh, that is certainly excellent. Oh, yeah, that's that's all that SEO has to do with. That that's it. Follow those things and you will rank for sure. That is so cool. Thank you so much for Martin, being here. Thank Thanks you. for being my guest. And uh, I hope that this this helps other developers as well. And uh, developers and SEOs can be friends. I think. I think so. Yes. I think so. Thank you. Aha, uh-huh. so <laughs> there we have the SEO Mythbusting 101 first uh, video. I'd just like to say as a disclaimer that this uh, video I'm making here is merely a link to the previous video. I'm not responsible for this content. The content is clearly theirs. Just take this video as a link referring to their video. Uh, obviously, this is also a parody. Uh, it's uh, presented for uh, comedic purposes only. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.